Hi guys and welcome back to part number two on how to edit and create your dream digital planner. Today we are going to be using the template that I showed you in my previous video and if you want to see everything that's included in the original keynote file you can go check out that video, I'm gonna link it below. But today I will teach you how you can actually start editing this planner and adapt it to your needs. If you haven't got this template and you would like to, I'm gonna link it below, you can check it out. And if you don't want to get this template, you can still watch this video and learn a ton of tips and tricks to using Keynote. All right, so let's start. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to change the colors and style of what you see here. So my first page is my cover page and this particular page actually I will edit right on my regular pages. This is not a master. So I can go ahead and just tap on an element and start editing. So okay, so the first thing you can do is of course change the colors. So I'm gonna start with the planner and when I click here it doesn't allow me to pick the blue shape. I'm actually selecting the stitched um, rectangle. So what I'll do is just make that rectangle smaller so I can tap on the blue shape and select it. Then I go to my brush icon up here and where it says style, you will be able to see the color that's currently selected where it says fill. I tap there and then I can choose any other color that I want. You also have your color wheel if you swipe here to the left and then you can be more exact with the color that you want. And I think I'm gonna go for like a purple. I always love purple. You can make it lighter or darker. Okay, that seems good for me. And now I'm gonna grow my stitch shape back where it was. And I want to change the color of this band. So I just tap on it and select it. And before I change the color, as you can see, you can also make it a little bigger. You can move it to whatever you want. You can adjust it however you like. That's fine for me. And I'm gonna go back to my brush click on where I have my fill color and choose anything you want maybe some sort of pink will work a darker pink something like that lastly I want to change my background remove this yellow color and add a different color however I'm going to do that from my masters so that all of my masters can have the same color to do that I'm gonna tap on this first page here on the left and then click on edit master slide this will open my masters so you can edit in these master slides, but then this will be added to whichever pages you have applied these masters to. Just a reminder, I do have a basic Keynote digital planner making video showing you all of the basics of how to do this in Keynote. So if you're not understanding everything I'm saying very clearly, I highly advise you to go watch that because I go a little bit slower and really explain all of the features. Okay, so now as you can see, I'm in my background master and it's labeled here background. And this is what I want to change let's say to a dark gray so to change my background i will go to this brush here and as you can see it says background and i just tap on that color and then i choose a dark gray something like that since i don't have my cover here i'm just gonna click on done and then go see how it looks and i actually like it my purple really pops with this dark gray background so that's a good color of background i'm gonna go back to my masters I'm gonna move on to my page here. And the first thing is I'm going to change the background to the same color of the previous master so that the whole planner looks uniform. To do that, tap on your brush again, where it says background, tap there. And then if you swipe to the left and you tap on this little icon, which is like a color picker, you can just tap on any color on the screen and that exact same color will be added to the background. That's why having this little square here with the selected background color is really helpful. Now the following thing I want to do is edit my tabs. So first I'm going to change their color and this is a little tricky because they're small but you can tap on one and then go to your brush and where it says fill you will be able to choose whichever color you want. So I just clicked on color up here and you can use one of the pre-existing colors which they're pretty or you can use your color wheel. I think that I'm gonna stay with that pink, I like it. And you can have them all the same color, you can choose different colors for each of them. If you know me, you know I love different colors for everything. Once you're happy with your color selection, you can repeat those colors. And to do that, I'm gonna select more than one tab at once. So for example, I have January and then I have two different colors and then April should be the same color as January, then two other colors, July should be repeated, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and select April. Without removing my finger, I select July, leave two tabs, the third one is selected again, 
third one, third one, okay? Then I go to my brush, fill, then I go to color, swipe left so I can select my color picker, and then I drag until I find the pink color. And in that way, I have changed multiple tabs at once. I'm gonna do the same for the following color. Go to my brush, color, color picker, drag to my blue, and lastly, so I'm gonna do the rest of my tabs here. So just select them. This is a little tricky because I keep selecting the page. If you guys have your Apple Pencil, then of course that's a lot better to use than your finger. You know, it's smaller and more accurate when selecting little objects. However, if you notice that when you open your pencil, you either have the scribble feature or you also have a feature where you start drawing on the screen, to deactivate that, what you'll do is first click on done to get out of your masters here, then go to these three dots on the top right, and then scroll until it says Apple Pencil, tap there, and you make sure that you have the option that says select and scroll on. And what that does, and I'm gonna open my master slides again to show you, now I'm able to use my Apple Pencil to select my tabs, my page, etc. And this is gonna make it a lot easier when trying to edit tiny objects. And back to where we were, I had my tabs selected, so I'll just go to my color picker and repeat for the rest of the tabs. And the last color, this blue. Okay, the following thing I'm going to do is change the text. So I do want these tabs to take me to the different months, so January, February, March. If you want your planner to start in a different month that is not January, this is when you change that, okay? but I don't mind the months right now, that works for me. So I'm just going to select all of the tabs that have text, which is all of them. So just select them all. And now I'm gonna go to my brush. This time I will go to text and then I will select the font that I want. In this case, I'm using Joey Bold. Okay, I think I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Let me just see how that looks. Okay, I think that size is okay. So now I have the format for the text that I want. And the next thing I'll do is just change the names of the tabs so for example these ones on the side are going to be what i always have which is one for finance one will be for my classes one will be for my meal planner one will be for my son's schedule and one for workouts okay just workout because workouts is too long okay and I don't really want these other tabs right now and I highly recommend that you really sit and take the time to plan out everything that you want your planner to include. So when you get to this step, you know exactly what you need and what you don't need, um, just so that you don't come back later and be like, hey, you know what, I needed more tabs. So if you're not sure of you, what you want, I advise you to leave all of the tabs available and then remove them in the future when you are sure that you don't want them but I am sure right now that I want to remove them. So I'm just gonna select them and click on delete. And the same thing up here, I don't really want these here, so I'll just delete them. Okay, so my tabs, my colors, everything looks good. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention is you can also edit this spiral. So to do that, you would just double tap on it and then click on your brush here, click on ungroup, go to your brush again, and then go to style and in the border option, this time not the fill, you will have the color that's selected and you can change to any other color that you want. You can make like a bright orange or yellow, something that you want it to stand out because now we have a darker background. Before deselecting, go back to arrange and click on group. Okay, so this is my planner design that I want to see throughout all of the pages in my planner. Now, how do I add this to all of the rest of the pages in my planner? I will just tap on this gray area at the top to tap on select all, copy, go to my monthly page here. And as you can see, I have the previous design here. And I do wanna keep the monthly spread from here, but none of the rest. So to delete everything but my monthly spread, I'm gonna click on this top gray area to click on select all. Tap on my spiral or any other element and then on my monthly spread and that will deselect the thing that I tapped but not the spiral. And from here click on delete, tap on the screen, paste and before deselecting go to your brush, move everything to the back and then you will have your page completely modified but keeping your original monthly spread. 
I'm gonna go to my week, do the same thing. So deselect my week, delete all, paste and move everything to the back. And of course, we need to change the background too. So click on my brush, background, color, swipe left, color picker and tap on the background color up here and do the same with this other page. Perfect. So now I have my background, my page template, my monthly template, and my weekly template all ready to use. Click done, click on play here, and now when you navigate the pages of your planner, you'll see that they are all with the modifications that you have added. And now we are ready to add some spreads to these pages, okay? So let me get out of here, just zoom out a little bit. Go back to my masters by tapping on any slide and click on edit master slide. And I want to copy a spread that I'm going to use for finance. So I just scroll because there's a finance section down here. It says finance and I have these two options. I like the bills one. So I'm just going to tap on the spread, click on copy, done. I'm going to go to my finance section. Again, that's why the selected tabs are useful. As you can see right now, workout is selected. So I keep going up until I see that finance is selected. So this is my finance section. It also says section side one. So that's the first section on the side. So no way to miss it. And then tap on the page, click on paste, and I'll have my finance spread added here. If you want to edit the spread, you can definitely do it. Just double tap on any of the items. Use your brush to change the text. Make it bigger if you want. And this table can also be edited. If you tap on the first row, all of it will be selected. Go to your brush where it says cell and where it says cell fill. You can do the same. Go to color, color picker and choose one of these colors from the top. And another thing I can do is change the text. So go to my brush again, cell. But this time where it says text, text color, I want it to be white and I want to change the font to the same one I've been using, which is Joey or Joey Bold or Joey Thin. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And that is how you can start building your very own customized digital planner. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you learned how you can get started modifying and editing and creating the perfect digital planner for you. I will keep, of course, publishing more videos on how to edit and improve this template, so keep an eye out for those. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and click on the bell so you're notified when the new video is out. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.